This is Ross Feingold on the Taiwan Hashtag program coming to you from Taipei, Taiwan and hosted by Storm Media Group. Today we're going to be talking about some of the odd, you might say, statements coming from the Kuomintang side in the presidential election. We'll be looking at three of the statements that have not gone down very well with the public and may be contributing to Hong Yu's very large deficit against incumbent President Tsai Ing-wen. Han Yu, the Kuomintang presidential candidate, he called President Tsai bye bye pong pong, which means that she is white and overweight and that she is plump overweight. He was basically saying that President Tsai spends a lot of time in the office and she's not out there working hard meeting the constituents, the voters, the people at the grassroots out seeing what's wrong, what needs to be improved with Taiwan. It didn't go down well. He had to spend several days explaining exactly what he meant by these words and obviously voters said, yeah, nah, that's kind of a bit offensive and inappropriate. More recently, Hong Yu's running mate, Simon Zhang Shanjung, he referred to President Tsai not having children as a, 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 a reason why she doesn't really understand the challenges that parents have, such as the cost of living, cost of education, worried about their children's future. And of course, there was a lot of criticism about that as well. Although to be fair to Zhang Shanjug, I've even had Taiwanese friends say that to me because, yeah, your host, he doesn't have children either. So I've had friends say to me, well, Ross, you know, you don't understand. Uh, but that, that uh, understandably was used by the DPP and by critics to say that, well, you know, you're not really very polite to President Tsai and you shouldn't really inject that into the presidential campaign. But just this week, Chairman Wu Dun Yi of the Kuomintang, the Nationalist Party, he said another rather colloquial phrase about President Tsai that did not go down well either and has resulted in a lot of ongoing criticism. This phrase in Taiyu, and you know, my Taiyu is not very good. I'm going to give it a try. Here it is. Sui bo zha mo. Okay, you see, I screwed it up. Thankfully, we have our our storm crew here who speak excellent Taiwanese dialects. So they were on the, on the set here able to correct me when I, when I totally mispronounced it. But this phrase basically means a, a woman is unlucky. For example, if a, if a man marries a woman and, and typically in, in uh, Chinese, Taiwanese culture, the woman will leave her family. She goes, lives with the in-laws and she brings a lot of bad luck. For example, her husband, loses money, goes out gambling, the crop fails if they're farmers, a lot of bad things happen, then the mother-in-law will say, this woman that you married has brought a lot of bad luck. She soy mo zab. Thank you. Uh, and once again, I did not pronounce this correctly. Taiyu, Taiwanese being very difficult, believe me. Uh, so, uh, Chairman Wu Duni used this phrase to describe President Tsai basically by, by way of saying that she's been very bad for Taiwan and, and she's brought a lot of unfortunate things to Taiwan, whether it's relations with China, uh, the state of the economy. Of course, uh, economic growth for this year is looking very positive. Uh, so Chairman Wu probably doesn't have much to back up that, that aspect. Uh, but yeah, that, that, that's, that's his argument. Don't vote for President Tsai because she's an unlucky woman and she's brought all this misfortune to Taiwan. Well, needless to say, media, women, uh, pundits have all criticized Chairman Wu. They said that this is completely inappropriate, has no place in a democratic election. Let's compete. Let's win or lose the election based on the strength of the candidate's policies. Let's not get personal. And we see that there's a pattern with the Kuomintang side, with Han Yu and now Chairman Wu, insulting President Tsai personally. It could be a factor, again, in why Han Yu's poll numbers are so miserable. And what did President Tsai, the target of this criticism, say? Well, uh, she very calmly, to her credit, she said that this is damaging to the, the, you know, the kind of the, the elegance of democracy. And, and she's right. The, these kinds of statements just have no place in a democracy, whether it's in the United States or Taiwan or anywhere else, uh, that, that Chairman Wu should not have said this phrase. And, and of course, President Tsai is going to argue that uh, her policies are, are actually not unlucky for Taiwan and have brought Taiwan 
much success. So, is President Tsai a soy mo za mo? Soy be za mo. The answer will be determined by the voters on January 11th. You've been watching Taiwan Hashtag with Ross Feingold, hosted by Storm Media Group.